Um, uh, where to start? Um, I used to film weddings. I've seen all kinds of nonsense happen at weddings. That's pretty much all that happens at weddings is nonsense. There's, there's some other things that happen too, but the year was 2017 and I was filming a wedding on South Beach with my second shooter, JDev. I'm filming the band. Um, it gets to the the saxophone player, this individual with this with his saxophone. Every time I go to film this guy, usually I like people being candid, but he was being funny, and I'm like, oh, thanks for you know performing for the camera, whatever. Night's winding down. I'm getting ready to leave. I'm starting to pack equipment up, and he leans over. I'm walking past him. Hey, man, uh, what are you doing out of this? Um, I don't know. I'm, uh, I have no plans. We should we should go get a drink. Uh. I don't know, man. So I go and talk to my second shooter, and I get to him, and I ask him the question that you're all thinking. I was like, does that guy seem gay? And JDev, I'll never forget, he's like, I don't know. We're walking, we're walking towards the exit, and the saxophone sax guy, you know, he's, he's walking past us, and I look at JDev, and I just, and he walks back, you know, he walks right past us. And then JDev leans to me, and he's like, oh, dude, he is gay. So we're going to leave, right? So we're, we're, we're going to like the valet car area and I'm going to get my valet ticket stuff. I think he's the piano player and he's getting his valet ticket and I'm like, ah, I gotta ask. And I lean over to him like, hey man, really, really just random question. Is the saxophone player in your band gay? You know, he asked me out for a drink and I just didn't know how to take it. I didn't know if I should. Oh no, dude, he probably just wanted to grab a drink. With dude, awesome. And guess who's freaking right behind me? It's a six foot two professional saxophone player. Sax guy. I have no idea how long he was there. You think I was asking you out on a date? I just had to, I had to be sure, because I mean, he, I was. Oh, <laughs> When it comes to levels of awkwardness, there is an unhealthy level of unawkwardness, and I'm telling you, I am right there. Like if a squirrel splattered on your windshield, Greg's hitting the windshield wipers, and he's just driving on like nothing happened. No awkward moments for Greg. So I have no idea how to handle this situation that clearly needs to be awkward. Oh, dude, I you know, uh, gotta go get my car. The valet line is a million cars, and of course, here comes Sax Guy. It was like a creepy Matthew McConaughey. How you doing? I'm gonna get you out for a drink sometime. Only Matthew McConaughey can do that stuff. Dude, this guy had no game whatsoever. And so we're waiting for cars. I mean, cars are going in and out, and I'm just like, dude, where the hell is this guy's car? He's lighting up a cigarette, which is unattractive. Even if I was gay, I wouldn't be attracted to him now. And I get home, and it's like a couple days later, and I'm actually with my church small group, and I'm telling this story. One of my small group members, Rory, my dude, was he a good saxophone player? Rory's like a genius musician. He was at UM for like school of music, whatever, for a long time. Uh, no, Rory, uh, I don't know what a good saxophone player sounds like. My dude, was he like six foot three and blonde? Well, yeah, he actually was. Dude, was he like 35 roughly? Uh, I don't know, but that sounds about, yeah, it sounds, it sounds about right. My dude. It was sax guy on his phone. Just smiling. <laughs> Why do you have a picture of Sax Guy on your phone? This is my professor. Yeah, my dude, and uh, he's also dating somebody right now. Uh... So this guy sucks. I mean, he is just a bad dude at this point. So now I'm feeling all kinds of offended. I'm like, gosh, even though I was gay and I didn't care that you smoked, I'd still be angry at you because you're dating another person. Ah. So for a while, the Sax Guy drama cools down. I'm filming a wedding and we just get done with the, the ceremony, right? And I'm packing things down and I'm getting ready to set up for the reception and right through the freaking door, who do you think it is? That's right, it was Sax Guy. And so he comes into this room and he's walking past me and this is where unhealthy, not awkward Greg comes out, right? Because there's a part of me that just screams, don't make it awkward, you know? It's totally cool. Oh, hey man, good, good to see you. Why? And Sax Guy doesn't even recognize me. Ah. He didn't even remember me. I, he only remembered me because I was like, hey man, how, how's it going? And so just like that, Sax guy's back in my life. I remember you. Oh, yeah, now you do, because I'm an idiot. Are you sticking around for the whole wedding? No, I'm gonna leave halfway through it. They, they paid me to film this thing, and I'm just here to see you. Uh, oh, hey, Sax guy, how's it going? Um, yeah, I am filming the wedding, actually. Um, I've gotta go. Hey, can I borrow a tripod? Dude, Sax guy, why do you want a tripod? Honestly, dude, what are you gonna do with this tripod? I don't even know what you're gonna do with the tripod. What are you gonna do with it? 
I, well, I, no, you cannot have a tripod. I just need something to keep my, 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 my music on. Listen, sax guy, you can use my tripod, but I've got to leave in 30 minutes. And I'm gonna walk up on that stage, I'm gonna take that tripod back, and I'm gonna leave. And I promise you, I promise you he suggested this, which, like, I don't know who, like, <laughs> even if I... <laughs> oh, I'll just come and bring it by your house later. I don't think I've actually even seen a saxophone player since then. That was my last taste of saxophone players. I'd not t taste as a bit. Dang it.